Hello, my name is Ariel Martinez, and this is a deep look at all three types of tectonic boundaries. We will also look at the three subtypes of convergent plate boundaries, so buckle up for our journey. First, there is a little something I like to call transform boundaries. This occurs when two plates are moving horizontally against one another. Some might say they are brushing up. Just as there is friction between two people bumping while walking opposite ways on the street, these two plates create friction in energy while sliding. However, sometimes energy can build up and be released when the tectonic plates finally move thus resulting in major earthquakes. Second, there is a little something I like to call divergent boundaries. This occurs when two plates are moving in opposite directions. This can often result in hot magma rising from the middle gap. When this happens in the ocean, the magma solidifies into thin parallel sheet layers. Finally, there are convergent plate boundaries, of which there are three types. First, there is ocean continental. This type occurs when two tectonic plates are moving towards one another. One is a continental crust, whereas the other is an oceanic crust. Because the oceanic crust is denser, it sinks below the continental crust. This often results in volcanoes and mountains. Second, there are ocean-ocean conversion boundaries. This occurs when two ocean crust tectonic plates move towards one another. Oftentimes, the older oceanic crust is denser than the newer oceanic crust, causing the older crust to move under the newer crust. Finally, there are continental-continental conversion boundaries. Rather than there being a subduction zone, the two are relatively the same density. As a result, the crusts simply buckle and result in mountain range zones. And that's it. Everything that needed to be discussed has just been discussed.